fish market charges $9 per pound for cod and $12 per pound for flounder. They're defining the variables here. Let x be the number of pounds of cod. Let y be the number of pounds of flounder. And what is an inequality to show how much uh, of each type of fish the store must sell today to reach a daily quota of at least $120? We're going to write the inequality, then we're going to graph it. And then it says, what are three possible amounts of each fish that would satisfy the quota? So essentially, we, if we're trying to find out the total cost, then we would say um, if we have, let's say, X number of pounds of cod, then we multiply that by the cost of each pound of cod, $9, to find the total amount of money that we're going to bring in from cod for, um, you know, X pounds of cod sold. Okay. Now add to that the number of pounds of flounder sold and multiply, of course, that variable y by how much do they cost per pound? $12 per pound. So you got 9x plus 12y. And that'll bring that'll tell you how much money you're bringing in on the fish. Well, they need it to be, uh, they're comparing it to $120. And they're saying it's got to be at least that much. Can it be $120? Yes, that's just the, the least that it can be. So it's that amount that it brings in has to be more than 120 or equal to. This is your inequality. Um, now, let me rewrite this over just to, well, uh, uh, first, first we'll solve for the y equals, um, you know, kind of slope intercept form so that we can graph it. So I'm going to say if I need it to, to read y equals or y is greater than or equal to, then I'm going to need to subtract this 9x from both sides. When I do that, we get 12y is greater than or equal to negative 9x. You always put the x's first because that's how slope intercept form looks. y equals mx plus b. Right? And that's the, how we want to think of it in order to graph it. Um, plus 120. And now, because we have 12y, we don't want to say 12y, we want to say y. We say, um, let me get this out of here. We say 12y divided by 12 greater than or equal to negative 9 divided by 12 x plus 120 divided by 12. And then that simplifies to y is greater than or equal to, this fraction simplifies to negative 3 fourths x plus 10. This is the line that we're going to need to graph. So I'm going to um, let me see if I can shrink this down and insert a graph here. I'll do that. Okay, so here we are back again. We've got y is greater than or equal to negative 3 fourths x plus 10. Um, this equation at the bottom that we've rewritten it into the form where we can graph it. And you see I've graphed, uh, I've labeled our graph. It says that the x-axis is number of pounds of cod and the x-axis is the one going across the bottom here. So um, I've got that labeled as that, and the y-axis, because it says let y equal the number of pounds of flounder, we've got that on the y-axis. So now we're going to graph it. And essentially, in order to graph this, uh, I hope you don't mind me using all these different colors. It's just kind of a little bit more engaging to me. So uh, we have a y-intercept of 10 right there. So I'm going to put a point here at 10. And then it says our slope is negative 3 fourths. So I rise negative 3, drop 3, run 4, right there. And I'll do it again. Rise negative 3, run 4, right there. Rise negative 3, run 4, right there. And of course, now I can take my line tool and connect those points. Okay. Um, now that I've got that, I want to determine, do I want to include that line or do I need it to be a dotted line? So we examine over here, does it say our equals? It does say our equals. So the line should stay, it shouldn't be a dotted line. It should be solid. Now, do we want values greater than or less than that? Well, it says Y is greater. So we want all the values above. So I'm going to pick a new color because it's fun. Oops. Uh, and let's shade all of these values 
above. Okay. Now remember, this is telling us the number of fish that we can sell of each type in order to um, in order to reach or exceed the quota. So now I'm going to put some points in here that are in the shaded region. Um, all we have to do is pick something that's either on the line or above it. And I'm going to pick some uh, points that are on the line, like this point right here. And what is that point? That point is 4, 7. Okay. If you sold 4 cod, because that's the x-coordinate, and 7 flounder, you would meet the quota of $120. Now we can pick some values uh, above. We could say, okay, maybe you just sell 12 cod and 0 flounder. That would be fine. That would actually exceed the number because you can see that it's above the line and not sitting on it. And let's just pick this random point here. Six, I'm sorry, uh, 10 cod and six flounder. That would exceed your quota. Um, any points that you pick that are either on the line, if you're allowed to include the line, and in this case we are, because it says our equals, or above the line in the shaded area will satisfy the quota. And that's what it's asking. What are three possible amounts of each fish that would satisfy the quota? So when we write the ordered pair, because it says x is the number of cod, then the first uh, coordinate, the x coordinate, is the number of cod. So four cod, seven flounder would meet the quota right there. 12, uh, I'm sorry, I wrote, uh, I wrote 12 comma zero, and that's a mistake. Let me erase that. If you caught that early, good job. Um, let me see. Because that's not 12 comma zero. That is zero comma 12. So let me reshade that in. Good job if you caught that. If you didn't, hopefully you see what I'm talking about, that the point that I'm describing right here is actually zero for x, zero for x, and uh, 12 for y. Okay, so if you if you bought if you sold zero cod but 12 flounder, you would exceed your quota. Um, so any set of coordinates that are in the shaded region or on the line will satisfy the quota, and the first coordinate would be the x coordinate would be the number of cod because that's what it says up here. Let x be the number of cod, and then the y coordinate would be the number of pounds of flounder because that's what it says there. So there's your answer. Hopefully that makes sense.